Welcome back to Candy Adventures. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Chris. And today is the only day this week that we have off work. We've been working uh, six days this week and we're extremely exhausted, which means we're gonna do a fun little video straight from the campground because we work and live full time out of this 2006 North Star truck camper in the back of our 2001 F-250. We did have someone reach out to us. Rattan said, hey, you guys uh, do a lot of stuff on e-bikes now and we would love to work with you. Uh, so by work with you, they meant send us a free e-bike in exchange that we put it into a video. So we're gonna be testing this thing out today and putting it through its paces today in the beautiful California sunshine as we ride through the mountains and see if we can get on a trout. But first we need to transform no. this bike. No. We need to transform. No, 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 no. We need to no. transform. Stop. Nope. All right. I see you viewers. I know that 12 of you unsubscribed from our last video because there was skit in the beginning of it. Why does it dance? 12 people unsubscribed from that video in the within first- Within the first day. <laughs> within the first like hour that it was uploaded. So no more skits. Well, apparently Got not it. allowed to have fun on this channel. So Got that, that's fine. No more skits. So we'll just transform <laughs> in real time with no nonsense and we'll put a basket on the back of this real quick. Now you can get options for these to get from the factory uh, cargo baskets, but this plastic thing is massive and it was free and we're just gonna strap it on. All right, with our handy dandy little cargo basket set up, we can now put our camera bag and all of our fishing supplies neatly onto our bike, and now we don't have to wear a backpack or do anything like that. While we're riding, we just thought we'd uh, kind of go over some of the basic specs of this bike in case you were interested in this bike. Rattan doesn't pay us, none of these companies pay us, um, but they do send us a free e-bike, and as a struggling channel, you may be able to turn around and sell these e-bikes to keep your struggling channel alive. So we're gonna go over some of the specs. So this is called the Rat Rattan Quericus. And very fittingly, this is uh, in California, we're, we're going through a, a live oak tree stand. And Quericus is the scientific name for oak tree. So we thought, wouldn't that be rather witty? The Quericus is a 750 watt, 1200 peak watt, torque censored cargo style e-bike. You got the fat tires, you get the four inch wide by 20 inch wheels. And these are cool because these are alloy wheels. These are magnesium aluminum alloy wheels. So super light. Uh, no spokes to ever have to maintain or adjust and you get hydraulic front suspension which is actually pretty plush the big selling point for this bike for me personally is the torque sensor uh, most of the bikes that we've been uh, reviewing lately are cadence sensor there's a sensor that sees that if the pedals are turning or not regardless of the effort being put on them so you could take the chain off of a pet of a cadence sensor bike and just spin the the, the pedals around and it would still pr provide force uh, through the electric motor this bike however feels the the actual torque that your legs are putting in and then adjusts accordingly. And it's a much more natural feeling bike. There's no ghost pedaling or anything like that. Um, so for me, even on their website, they don't really push the torque sensor aspect of this bike that much. But for me, that's like the best thing ever, especially in a sub $2,000 bicycle. The torque sensor is, would probably be the number one seller for me. Also, this uh, is a class three e-bike. So you got your throttle and your pedal assist, and this thing will do 30 miles an hour straight out of the box. I think we haven't lined all of our e-bikes up yet to test them, but I think this might be the fastest one. You also get hydraulic disc brakes on this bike, which is super cool for a bike under $2,000 and 180 millimeter rotors. This thing also has an LCD screen uh, that has an app that you can control everything remotely. So you, the LCD, the color LCD screen, you can see your, uh, the power output of the motor in watts. You can see your speed. You can see your pedal assist feature. You can see if your headlights are off, on or off. And in the rear, you actually have turn signals on this bike and you can see that on the display also. The only thing that would make this bike better is uh, increased battery size. So the battery that comes on it is a 20 amp hour battery that's uh, down here kind of built into the frame. And that's cool because on their website, you can actually order this thing with two batteries. And the second battery would go right here on the top of the frame and give you another 20 amp hours. And with those two batteries combined, Rattan says you can get hundred miles on this thing. This bike also has a 450 pound weight capacity, which is, which is very high. I think it's the highest capacity that we've seen or tested so you don't have to worry about loading up your little cargo rack with too much weight uh, being that the whole bike is you know capable of 450 pounds which is incredibly heavy all right we've found our access to a supposed trout fishing spot we've fished this river a couple times and there are trout lurking this spot no idea, but we're gonna use our trusty Walmart special extendable rod for $20 and it is tried and true and has caught us a lot of fish. So let's see if there's any luck today. Is 
A little fish following it. We're going to try a different hole because this hole is not productive. All right, so that sucks. We finally made it back up here to the road. We started way down there in that gorge, way down there. And uh, zero bites, zero fish. So really got to earn your fish out here in the quasi kind of desert here. So I'm going to hop back on the bikes, continue down this road, and see if we can find another access point to the water. All right, we made it down to spot 457. We're both very out of breath. Uh, and um, Desperate to try to get one fish, so we'll see. And <laughs> the place that we picked to go down is another uh, chasm that we must enter. So as you can see, the sun's starting to drop over top of our chasm. Uh, so hope we can get down into our chasm and get some moist meat for dinner. So let's get down there. No. Super steep. Down into our moist meat chasm. No. All right. Forgot the camera bag, which has our Ziploc bag to carry a fish and our lures. So that's about 100,000 times more cliff climbing than I wanted to do today. Are you really gonna make me get my shoes wet and my little dress for a fishing video? Gladly. Don't care. All right, first cast. Nice little rainbow in here. Beautiful little fish. I don't wanna eat them. We can catch a bigger one. It's so small. What if we don't catch another one? This is what we always do. We throw them back and then we don't catch another one. Do we have to do a catch and cook? We can, Probably. We can, uh, let's see, we'll, get, we'll wait for one a little bit bigger. Okay. It's just so small, look at it. The spots in these rainbow trout are so beautiful. Oh, it got me in the eye. All right, single hook, easy unhook. He's ready to go back and get a little bigger and gone. Ah! There we go. It's about the same size as the other one. Okay, we threw the first one back and this is about the same size, but we threw the first one back, so I, I feel like this is okay. Oh my gosh. All right. That's, how long is it? How, what's the minimum it has to be? It's gone. <laughs> it's gone, so we didn't never get mind. that after all. <laughs> oh, never mind. He chose for us, which is fine with me. He's a little bit small.
think the hardest part about not catching a fish on your day off is when you only have one day off in a week, you know, and you're working a lot of long hours, it makes it even more unsatisfying to miss all these fish knowing that you, you're not gonna get another shot to do it for maybe a week or two weeks. Woo, what was that? I don't know, I've honestly never, I feel like something cosmic's happening right now. Uh, kind of last minute decide to film a video, really wanna catch a fish and just can't seem to do it, but getting a lot of bites. I think that's a wrap on the fishing. We caught a total of four fish, well, caught two, I released the first one, accidentally let go of the second one, and Chris had two really nice ones on the line and they got off right before he could get them in. So we did land some fish. I just had butterfingers. So we didn't actually bring home any fish for dinner, but that's fine because we got to put this bike to the ultimate test, which is that crazy rugged road. It has huge boulders in it, giant ruts, and it's very hilly. And this bike did amazing. I think the ultimate game changer in this bike that's different from all the others is that torque sensor. It's so smooth. And I think overall we like that more than a cadence sensor. We absolutely love this makeshift basket cargo thing that we put on the back and know that it can handle so much weight. So that is awesome all around the board as well. One thing that Chris didn't mention that I find very interesting with this bike is that these handles are very tall and they're very close. So when you sit on this bike, you sit very upright. Some of the other bikes that we have, the handles are shorter and farther up, so your position is more like this. But this, you sit upright like a prim and proper person. And it's actually really, really comfortable. I don't know why more bikes aren't built like this, where you have a natural, um, more upward posture, but I really like it. With this upward posture in combination with the torque sensor, it's a very comfortable, comfortable ride. Of course, we have to cover cons. And the only con that I can come up with is this headlight. I don't know who manufactures this headlight. Uh, one of our other e-bikes has a headlight that has the same issue, and I don't know if they're manufactured by the same company, but it looks like it would provide a lot of light until you're actually riding at night and there's a black like obstruction in the middle or there's just a black like central area where there's no light provided. So you get a square up here, a square down here, and like some light on the sides, but in the main center, there's no light at all. So it's really awkward to have to angle it all the time because sometimes you want to look right in front of the bike, so you have to angle the headlight down. But sometimes you want to look farther ahead to see where you're going, so you have to angle it up. And then that gets rid of the ability to look right in front of you. I don't know what it is. There's nothing on the physical light face, so it has to be something with the lights inside of this. So between the dual battery attachment, the torque sensor, the 450 weight capacity plus a cargo option, and just this upright position makes this bike amazing. And they have a seamless app where you can control it all on your phone. You can track the speed, the mileage. It's just a flawless bike, really love it. They're a very responsive company. We have not had any issues with them. So I, I would say across the board, very reputable company and very reputable product.